Everybody paid the doctor's bill when it was due. The doctor could get some nice new instruments, pay his rent, buy some medical books, get more up to date things. Who wouldn't want that to happen? Or would we? Pay the man right now, McGee. Do you happen to know the amount, Doctor? By an odd coincidence, Mrs. McGee, I have a copy of the bill right here. Odd coincidence, my clavicle. You were probably going to come over here and beat on the door until the dough got shook up to my piggy bank. Well, how much? That bandage bandit? Twenty-three dollars. That's very reasonable. Reasonable? Why, for 23 bucks, I could jack up my ankles and get a whole new body. <laughs> of all the pill-peddling piracy I ever heard of, this takes the silver-mounted sleeping tablet. 23 bucks. What did you see the last time you looked down my throat a diamond mine? 20. Oh, stop shouting, McGee. You know very well you call me over here every time you mistake gluttony for heart trouble. Of course, if you'd like to go on my charity list. We don't want anything of the kind, Doctor. Okay. Uh -huh. The last time you treated a case for free, it was because your dog knows it's wrong. The word. <laughs> the word, McGee, is diagnose. In your case, it's dog knows, you big airdale. No. Now look here, McGee. I'm a very patient man, as any doctor would be who waited for you to pay a bill. But if I have to take any more of your silly board bill, I'll forget my ethics and spread your septum all over your unclassic profile. Oh, yeah? Well, you leave my septum out of this. Why, I could stand on a basketball and bounce you around like a yo-yo. You don't say. Just because you carry a little globe under your belt, don't get the Octavia Charles Atlas. <laughs> I know every alleged muscle in your miserable little Kathy McGee, and you haven't got the stamina of yesterday's spaghetti. <laughs> Is that so? Now well, listen, dear, that's enough. Uh, enough. Stop it. I won't have another word. Doctor, you'll have to excuse me. He's worked so hard today, he's worn it up near. McGee, $23 is a very fair charge. Oh, yeah. Well, then let him itemize. That's fair enough. But here's the bill. June 3rd, August football. Taking bowling ball off thumb. Three dollars. I remember that. So do I. At least 20. July 5th, house call. Emergency. 3 a.m. Patient terrified. Turning red all over. Diagnosis? Sunburn. <laughs> like a Juan McGee? No, doctor. Of course not. Name's $23, McGee. Here you are, doc. You don't have to give me a receipt. I trust you. Isn't that sweet? He trusts me. Well, I may as well tell you now, McGee, the reason I had this bill with me is that I was coming over here to tear it up as a New Year's present. Your silly ailments have kept me in good humor the whole year. Good day. Well, I, I told you you were too tired, McGee. Well, imagine old Doc flying off the handle like that, though, just because that space needs I wonder if that's what I was supposed to remember. No. Huh? I said no it wasn't. How do you know what I... No, I've got a confession to make. Huh? I tied that ribbon on your finger last night while you were asleep. You did, but... But what for? Because there was something I wanted you to do for me today. Well, what for the... What did you want me to do? I can't remember. Oh, this is Conservation, like charity, begins at home. That's why every piece of linoleum on every floor in the country should be protected with a polish that will not only keep it beautiful, but will make it last longer. The polish I'm referring to is, of course, Johnson's self-polishing glow coat. The glow